more brush and more technique of cross hatching closer to the American. I've been drawing comics in America for 20 years now. My first book was Iron Man for Marvel Comics. Right now I'm on a book for Marvel Comics called Moon Girl. Before that I was on a line for forge book called Superb. 20 years ago it was practically impossible. Because of it being male dominated, I was isolated and no one was there to teach me anything. I had to learn it on my own. I am self-taught. You're able to get your voice out there. Right now I'm still rather silent. I'm a workhorse in my industry. I stay home and I work. That's why coming out to do these type of events is very, very big for me because I'm usually at home working. But if more women can enter the field, we will have better representation. There will be better characters out there for the little girls coming up in the world. They will not have to hear what I heard. I heard no a lot. I still hear no today. It is our daughters who will not hear no. It is the next generation who won't even be able to imagine a woman not being able to draw, not being able to be a fighter pilot, not being able to be a captain of something or other. That's what we're trying to change, and it always starts with art. A society is remembered by its art. I don't sleep. <laughs> Very little sleep, a lot of rewarding work. Coming out to speak to people is always, always, always wonderful. Day to day, I get up very, very early. I sleep about four hours a day. I'm averaging much less here in Spain right now, but that's just fine to be able to find people who look like me, who come from where I come from. But believe it or not, my roots are Hispanic. This is what my mask is. This is the family that they put on me. They wanted me to be more American, to fit into their society, not realizing that you're stripping me of my roots. So I have to replace that, and I have to make certain that my replacement comes from my background as well. At this very moment, even here in Spain, I'm working on Marvel Comics' um, Moon Girl, and I have another book coming up later on in a few months. We'll stay tuned. <laughs> My workshop I hosted today was about drawing the human face, but not just the human face, drawing the three different types of human skulls, because we tend to only learn to draw from one type of human skull, when in fact, scientifically, there are three. Technically, there should be more, but there are three recognized skulls, and that is what I showed the students today. Oh, they were quite advanced. Most of them had a lot of drawing skill. They've already known how to draw. But the lesson itself was about being able to break it back down to the math behind your style, behind our perceptions, behind what we already know, and go back to basics and build again. So what I always say, I say you draw every day. I draw every day. I draw whether I'm sick or well, and I plan to draw on my deathbed. I say this because drawing every day will build your stamina. You draw whether you're sick or well to build your discipline. And you plan to draw on your deathbed because this is a long-term plan and a 1% game.